help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. It is our most desperate hour. The Alliance is there for us. Help us, help us. Well, today, guess what? It's Star Wars week, and we are celebrating May the 4th today. So happy Star Wars Day to you. The Lord has a word for you. He can save you. He will save you. He will wash you in the living waters. So here I am as Princess Leia today, explaining to you God's love. As you can see in Star Wars, there are so many common themes that they're in the Bible. There's good versus evil, and then there's the triumph, and then there's the redemption. So what I want to let you guys know is you are redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Now let's talk about a word from the Lord. Is there such a thing? Why, yes, there is. You can get a word from the Lord and the Bible. You can get them in dreams, or you could get them by His voice. And as Caroline says, His sheep know and hear His voice. So I'm going to give a testimony from Caroline about a verse that resonated with her, and she actually ended up finding her own home that coincided with a verse that the Lord put on her heart. Jeremiah 17, 8. And this verse really helped me when, you know, everything's going crazy in the world. You think the economy is going to crash, and do, do I make a move, do I wait? And this is what I was really struggling with, but then God, here comes Jesus again, the shepherd's voice, my sheep hear my voice, they know it, uh, strangers they don't listen to, so all those feelings of anxiety of what, what's happening in the world, God spoke this to me and he said, this is for you, this is your word. They will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the streams. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. So that word, that's all I needed to hear. No matter what's happening in the world, I got that word from God and it's just amazing how on point he is at confirming him, his self to us. And you ended up even purchasing a home. Yes. That, tell us about where this home is located. Well, we that was the that was the do we move forward with the way the economy is going? Do we move forward? Do we wait? Is everything going to crash? Is the housing market going to crash? And then God gives me that word and then we find this home that we were really interested in and and then we were praying about it and then here we are at this little bridge in old Kaloa town and then here's this giant 100-year-old tree and it's planted right by the river. Amen. And then here God gives me the word and I'm like, like a tree planted by the river. And then we ended up making an offer on the house. And even before that, God had given my husband the dream of exactly what to do, what to offer. Because yeah. we get dreams and he directs us and guides us in our dreams. And, and so I'm so thankful for the word of God. And, and Jesus said, you know, that's how my sheep hear my voice. And and how can we hear his voice if we don't know what the living word says? The Lord can find a word for you and give it to you for such a time as this. Keep the positive space. Yes. Don't forget, the Lord loves you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Never give up, never surrender. The force is strong with you. Obi-Wan Kenobi, your only hope. It is our most desperate hour. Aloha, I ran into two wonderful Star Wars fans. We have Chuck Hello. and his beautiful wife. Sarah. Sarah, that's a, that's a good name. Princess Sarah, Princess Sarah is what we're calling. Right. So just a few folks that I'm meeting on my May the 4th adventure today. Aloha, and may the force be with you. The force is strong with you! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Woo! Aloha! Aloha! Uh. 
<laughs> Aloha, we have some hard working folks right here from the island of Kauai. Introduce yourselves. Dustin, Steve, Scotty. We love them. The force is very strong with them. And we just want to say, <laughs> may, may the, the fourth be you. with you. <laughs> the force is strong with you, you guys. This is what I do. I go on my walks. You have to be comfortable in your own skin. Fortunately for you, it's a Princess Leia skin for me today. Happy May the 4th, and may the Force be with you. <laughs>